which house will you choose to live in well i will definitely choose this house not because this is more beautiful than this because this is much cleaner on the other hand this is completely filled with garbage how could somebody live in such a house now how does this look how do you feel when you look at this it definitely feels very clean and very fresh and what about this how do you feel when you look at this well this is definitely such a place where you won't be able to stand even for few seconds it is so dirty it makes you feel like running away from it isn't it so when we compare these two images what is the major difference well the major difference is this is very clean and fresh while this is filled with garbage which is not at all welcoming but unfortunately this is a very common scenario in our cities nowadays so how do you feel when you see all this well definitely these are not something which would attract anybody in fact these are the most common scenarios in our cities which we really would like to avoid but this is the reality of our cities nowadays and do you know all these harmful things which are added to our environment this has a very negative effect on the environment and we call it pollution so when harmful substances are released making the environment unhealthy it is called pollution so you see whenever all these unwanted things are added to the environment which results in an unhealthy environment we call it pollution now pollution can affect air water as well as land so you see pollution is not restricted to any one medium it can affect any one of them now air in our environment is getting polluted by toxic fumes coming out of factories cars and other vehicles so you see all the factories and vehicles are releasing so many toxic fumes which are constantly getting added into the air and are making the air unhealthy and what do we call such a pollution well such a pollution is called air pollution because the air is getting polluted so when toxic substances are added to air it is called air pollution or wind pollution what do you think well it is air pollution so whenever toxic substances are added to air it is called air pollution now not only air water in our environment is getting polluted due to throwing off wastes and chemicals in rivers and ponds so you see even water is getting polluted in our environment and what do we call such a pollution such a pollution is called water pollution so you see all these scenarios which you see are examples of water pollution now apart from that throwing of garbage without proper treatment leads to contamination of soil and creates nuisance as you can see in both the cases so what are these examples of so land is getting polluted in both these cases so what do we call such a pollution it's called land pollution so you see all the three air water as well as land gets affected due to pollution now listen to this sound effect what you heard was car horns and which is a very common sound on all our roads now apart from that there are so many other sounds which are very disturbing and not at all pleasant to our ears 
सो ऑल दीज साउंड एड टू नॉइज इन आवर सराउंडिंग्स देर इज टू मच नॉइज इन आवर सराउंडिंग्स अनप्लेजेंट एंड डिस्टर्बिंग साउंड आर ऑल्सो पॉल्यूटिंग आवर एनवायरमेंट सो यू सी ऑल दीज अनप्लेजेंट एंड डिस्टर्बिंग साउंड दे आर ऑल्सो सोर्स ऑफ पॉल्यूशन एंड वॉट डू वी कॉल सच अ पॉल्यूशन सच अ पॉल्यूशन इज कॉल्ड नॉइज पॉल्यूशन सो दिस इज अनदर काइंड ऑफ पॉल्यूशन विच वी फेस नाउ पॉल्यूशन इज नॉट ओनली अफेक्टिंग अस इट इज ऑल्सो अफेक्टिंग अदर लिविंग बींग्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल द ट्रीज ट्रीज आर लूजिंग देयर लीव एंड डाइंग ड्यू टू पॉल्यूशन सो यू सी पॉल्यूशन इज सो हार्मफुल इवन फॉर देम not only humans but trees are also affected by pollution what do you think about this statement is it true or is it false well it is definitely true apart from humans even trees are severely affected by pollution now apart from that even stagnant water is a very common scenario in our streets so you see stagnant water on the road stagnant water in the market all these things you would have definitely seen now all these also add to pollution in the environment and create a number of problems now when different animals drink this dirty water well it will harm them at the same time when a car passes through such a road where there is stagnant water well it may splash water on people nearby and this dirty water may harm them too also this stagnant water can be grounds for breeding of mosquitoes which can result in disease such as malaria so you see everybody gets affected because of this stagnant water on roads now apart from that we should not litter now what is the advantage of not littering well no litter means no rats and no insects to spread diseases so you see not throwing garbage all over is such a big advantage for us because we will stop rats and insects from spreading diseases so we should always throw waste in dustbins because apart from this if we do not throw waste in dustbins it means that we are also harming other animals harming other animals well they search for food in the litter and they eat plastic which is very unhealthy for them and even can cause their death so you see littering is a very big problem we should not throw garbage all around and should always throw our waste in dustbins so that neither we allow the growth of rats and insects which spread diseases and at the same time we also avoid harming other animals which look for food in garbage so you see cleanliness should be a habit because a healthy environment is important for our survival so instead of littering we should clean the place like this so this is a before and after image of a place as you can see initially people threw garbage in the area but some responsible people cleaned the entire area and made it so beautiful so a place which you would have avoided earlier now you would not mind passing through it because it was properly cleaned so this is how we can make our environment much cleaner and healthier for everybody so you see when we talk about pollution it contaminates the environment making it unhealthy for all the living beings air water and noise pollution are the major types of pollution which are observed all around us and we should take effective measures to control pollution so that all of us have a better place to live so by avoiding pollution or controlling pollution we can really make our environment more healthy and livable for all of us don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all learning resources as per icse cbse ib
Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests. Performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You also get amazing prizes like PlayStations, iPads, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at deltastep.com, learning is not just fun and easy, it's rewarding too. So register for free now.